I'm HK Mitchell Missoma. And don't know this resort. I went to jump for them to print this resort. And this is what they gave me. This is the resort here. So this this is my aggregate 360. So this is exactly how I printed it. I downloaded it from that site. So they now saying that I forged my results is what I don't know. And I'm traumatized that they accused me of forging my own results. Because I am not capable of this forging results. This is the evidence. Okay, they say that I forged my results. They scanned this QR. Alright, so as you see in that video that she had released yesterday, I think we played it yesterday, you know, she um, does AGK Med as Mesoma maintained her innocence, um, innocence rather, but um, the debate has raged on. Jam has said her result um, is fake from the story that I took um, and, and it's been forged, right? And of course that um, these people, they do that, they are forgers who try to pull off francs um, to show friends, you know, you know, so that they can claim, they, they call it FIG, look, you know, they, they have some claims that, okay, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm the best and all mm. of that. So Mesoma Ejikeme, um, she's a 19-year-old student um, that has on, undergone a lot of um, scrutiny, right? She's under fire for allegedly parading a very fake result. That's according to the JAM, the, the um, Joint Matriculation Board examination. Um, so, um, Educame was initially celebrated for scoring 362 in the 2023 examination, a result that would make her the highest scorer. But the board has come out to say that the result she paraded is fake. Um, one key argument Jam um, made was the fact that this slip that she paraded was used in 2021. And the QR code attached reveals a result belonging to Asimiu Mariam Omobolanli with a score of 138. So, um, today we are asking, right, what are your thoughts on the Jam versus Mesoma uh, Ejikeme saga? And um, we're also asking you to join the conversation, send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 4663 I really wish young people that are watching can talk to us. Yeah. Um, because they are the ones that wrote these exams. They are the ones that will be able to tell us, you know, how, how the experience was, was yeah. you know, um, just from the small experience that my child had, because my child was part of the people that wrote this particular jam exam, um, computers were down, you know, so he had written, I think, two papers or maybe three papers. He had to go back the next day to do the, 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 the last yeah. paper. And that paper was not really, you know, so there was just a lot of, you know, a lot of things that went wrong. So, uh, I mean, there has been a lot of allegations and my team and I, uh, my producer and I, we, we, we said, okay, you know what, since they say that they are parading a fake, um, that they can actually generate from the allegations that people can actually generate fake results. We did, I don't know if they can show this while I'm talking through it. There's a screen record that we did. So we actually went on one of those fake jam results sites. And this is the, the site that we did it. Uh, we filled in the name of the, um, what's it called, the candidate the registration number, we put the date of birth, we put the state of origin, the examination number, the center name, you know. So we did all of this. And, you know, it kind of like checks from what, you remember what um, Diola was saying? It kind of like checks what, um, uh, what's it called? What um, Jam mm. is claiming that these things are actually, you know, they can be forged. Right, and that's why I said to Diola when she was when she was um, giving her analysis on what's in the news that I really don't have a problem with the person that is forging the result. It is a system, you understand? Because the the truth is that laws are meant to be broken. Yeah. People are meant to be like they are meant to do uh, what's the word fraud. They are meant to commit cr um, uh, crimes. Right. The only reason that a lot of people, you know, do not want to commit crimes is two things. They know they will be caught, and if they are caught, maybe there's, there are consequences and all of that. Yes. But if they know they can beat the system, right? So this is really scary for me. Does it mean that over the years, in the past, right, that there have been people that have been parading results or going to even to submit results in the university that are fake results, yes. and they have gone through universities, they have graduated with fake results? Is it possible that those things have happened, you know, and we really cannot tell? 
you know so how uh, authentic is the jam portal right so now they've said that yes the result that she paraded was the old result that they the new 2023 i was trying to get uh, my son's own but that one is another process because you have to first of all go to a cbt center yep. you understand and that is where that's the only place you can print out the results so if she went to a cbt center to print a result how were they now able to print, print 2021 results? so that's what i'm saying that to me some so many things don't add up and that's why i like the fact that a lot of people are calling for a more thorough investigation don't tell me that because you cannot come and say you conducted an investigation do you understand that it's a lot of them were caught it's just that you know uh, a lot of them are not coming out that that one does not add up because if for me to print out a result you know yesterday when i was talking i thought that you could actually just send a code the way you send a code to get the result mm. you can also send the code to just you know send you the certification yeah. and print it out from wherever your computer yeah. i didn't know that you have to actually go to a cbt center Right. It, it, so how is it possible that she went to a CBC center and they were able and to print out the, the old, old statement? The old truth, yes. So that's the thing is confusing in my head. But let me come to you. Let me come to you. I don't know who am I coming to first. Should I come back to Adela? Adela, let me come to you. Sure that um, you have to go to a CBT center to actually print. Adela, I, um, I think, I think, can you come back again? What did you say? Okay, I said that I'm not very sure that you need to get to a CBT center to print your results. So I was um, going through the process of how to um, check your results, you know, with JAM. And um, everything is, um, I mean, it's, it's, it's quite um, transparent, so to say, or it's an easy process. And um, it is on their website. And I think for this year, Jam, I, I don't know what they've been doing in other years, though, but for this year, they have somewhat found a way to simplify, you know, the process in such that um, from their website with your registration number, the phone number that you registered with, you know, you can generate the, the paper-based um, um template of the result. Now, I like the question that you raised that, um, that um, I mean, why should they be able to generate um, the, the template of the previous year? Now, from my understanding, it is the fact that uh, in generating the paper-based um, result, that's um, to give you the, the, as against just the score, you know, um, what, what it uses is actually the QR code, not your registration. It actually uses your QR code to generate the, the template. That's the paper-based result. Now, it is on the premise of that that, that, um, that that result, you know, came out because what it was seen was tallying with the QR code of the Miriam for 2021. And that's why it came out. But because... Of course, you know, when you want to generate it, you, you have a form, you have to key in your name, you have to key in certain parameters. You know, it came out with the name, you, with the uh, Mimisos, or pardon my, I, I don't know, I've forgotten her name now. You know, it came out with her name. Now, that's a gap. But at the same time, um, there is also the, the fact that um, when there are some checks and balances on the part of JAM, there is, there is also the fact that... Um, Situations like this, you know, they have to be able to tie the fact that you can only generate such with the, the, the authentication of your QR code, your registration, your name, as it appears in the, in, in, in the, um, in the database. But as it is right now, I mean, that's, that gap is there. And that's why we're seeing this, this case. But again, let me also quickly say that... Um, while I was also doing research, you know, I also discovered that um, some people go to different sites, you know, to also generate results, which is quite strange. I, I actually, um, ma um, I earmarked a couple of um, apps, you know, on, um, on Play Store, which says um, result checker. I mean, there, there's a whole lot of them that are not even affiliated with Jam. So I don't know. The, the the security, you know, that JAMB has, because that's another major lapse, where people are able to cipher registration numbers or any other thing that allows them to also let 
students check results when they are not verified. <laughs> so if some students that are not techie savvy or that do not know better go to such sites, there is every possibility that they're going to be seeing a lot of variation and there's also going to be a lot of madness you know, out there. So I don't know what Jam, Jam needs to just do a total, you know, um, a total oh, cleanup, not just of their own site, regular evaluation, check, making sure that Jam is saying that, I mean, they, they, they can't report any um, hacking um, tryouts in recent times. Nobody has tried to hack their database and all that. Whether that's a lie or whether that's true, I mean, we don't know, but this should not be happening. Okay. Just the simple children. Okay, let me come to you, Isi. Because you see, um that um <laughs> Diola. <laughs> so from mm -hmm. I don't know about any other person. My child wrote jam. And mm -hmm. when I asked him that can he send me a printed copy? Because I wanted to even see what the 2023 sample looked like. And he, he said, mm -hmm. Mommy, they said I can only get it if I go to a computer-based uh, test center, right? Mm -hmm. The CBT center. That that is where he can generate that result, right? So I even he even promised that he was going to try to get it today. But I'm sure that maybe the traffic or something they've not gotten to because there's a there's a there's a center close to the house. They, maybe the, he has not gotten to the to the location yet. But he was supposed to send it to me so that I just have his, an idea of what the 2023 result looks like, right? This so is, um, mm, so mm, what mm. he said was he was supposed to go and print it in a center. Um, CBT center. So I will still go back to that question. There is a lot okay. of problem with that portal called, I mean, or the structure or whatever it is that Jam is using. But let me come to you, Isi. What are your thoughts on this? Wow. My thoughts are much, but I will take it from one perspective, which is the humanistic perspective. And that is the fact that where are the parents of my darling sister, Miss Oma. You know, Nigerians, are, our parents are quite dramatic. When it comes to yeah. something like this, they go all out, they talk about it. Oh, my daughter, oh, my pequino. Before you know it, everybody is on the side of the parents. They want to know what is happening. So where are the parents? Nobody knows who the parents are. Nobody has seen the father or the mother. Nobody has said, okay, look at... This is the person representing the father. In the course of my research, I also discovered that when she went to see the commissioner of, uh, of education in Anambra State, she wasn't escorted by her parents. She was escorted by a reverend and uh, a, another, another man who is a principal. Okay? So in the course of them doing this, nothing. No, no sign of the parent. So mm. does that mean that it calls, that means it calls for questioning? Because in verbal communication, in communication, we have something that we call verbal and nonverbal communication. Look at the body of the girl when she was talking. She was calm. She was relaxed, like she was unperturbed. Okay? But <laughs> if somebody tells me that you 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 have committed a crime i would be very unsettled quite unsettled so again i will stand by the fact that when jan says that they have that she's not the only one doing this i will believe that jan. so daring you see right daring lies why i am angry with jam right my anger is not with these people that are faking results my anger is that so you know that your system is porous because they are just admitting it to the world that they are not competent to handle the exams Absolutely. My, and I, my question also lies with the fact that they know that things like this are happening in the sector and the, according to your quotes they are aware that things like this are happening in the sector but they are not coming out to say okay this is the individual that they have caught that has um, um that has gone to jail in the cause of this <laughs> so again exam malpractice is like a syndicate hmm. okay yeah. it's like a syndicate currently in nigeria it's not it just is. about the parents or the individuals anymore. It's also about the office that oh, is um, um, conducting the exams. From the last wire, from what I heard, I heard that 
everybody before they started the paper, everybody who had a phone, who were in a particular center, had the, the, the questions. Which one is that? Magic I'm centers. Saying, no, I, I'm center. saying which of the exams? Is it JAM? WAEC exam. Okay. Yes. And from everything, that's patient, some strong right? allegation. He's saying that they might, they might cancel um, exams in Nigeria because of what transpired during the, the um, exams. So it's like a syndicate. It's not just from the individuals or the partakers in the um, exams. It's also those who are working in that establishment. So two so things. Again, you see, these are two things you are raising, right? Why yes. exam um, papers leaking? Eh? Mm -hmm. It's different from you going into WIAC portal to go and generate a WIAC result. Do you understand know what well, I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. they know. Wait, hold on. Yeah. Hold on, Isi. Hold on, Isi. Isi, one moment. Isi, one moment. Yes. They know that it's possible they might not be able to go into a WIAC portal to print out yeah. a fake result, right? So they would rather attack it from the point of, you know what, let us leak the papers and get the uh, exam questions at, or, uh, oh, and, uh, and make sure that we have the answers right. Those are two different yeah. things, right? Jam, you yeah. telling me that I can go into a jam portal and generate a result, that the one that did not even sit for the exam at all. I mean, like, that's what I'm saying to you, that they are indicting themselves even more. Yeah. But let me come to you, Jennifer. So let me come in here, right? Um... I don't know why we're surprised, first of all, that there's malpractice happening here. Right from, uh, one of the reasons why they changed from paper-based jam to CBT was because of malpractice, right? Because mm -hmm. even back then, they tell you, oh, don't come in with phones and stuff like that. People still came in with phones. And the, 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 the major challenge back then was, when it was still paper-based, it was the fact that people had actually seen jam questions before you actually go. So the people go to like special centers. You know, there were special centers for WIAC, which is totally mm -hmm. different, right? WIAC questions used to leak. But when it came to JAM, it was very difficult for people to get JAM questions before, before time or like probably a day before. Most times, people got JAM questions on the day of the exam. So people who had paid for special centers or paid to like special teachers or something like that would have to wait for them to start getting the results on their phones, these phones that they had to sneak in into the, um, the jam center. Now, one thing was jam found out about this and decided that okay, there was going to be thorough search before people entered the, the halls. halls. Yeah. Now, why can jam two different things because your center for jam is not your school, is totally different. So you're probably going to a new, a, a different school from where you are, probably miles and miles away from where you live. So they had to do thorough search search you before you go in and make sure that you were not with phones. But people still went in with phones and then they still got the jump questions and answers. And that was how people were able to pass. Now they had to move it up to CBT level where, okay, you're not getting any of this. Nobody knows the questions that are coming out. Once you get to the center, this is what you see. And you realize that when that happened, there were lots of people that were failing. And now we we're talking, Isi was talking about, oh, where are the parents of this girl and stuff. The truth is that a lot of parents encourage their kids. Exam to cheat. practice. Thank you. Yeah, it, 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 it is parents that are paying for special centers. It, it is, is parents, parents that are paying for questions answers, to be to right? be sent. So if 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 the parents of this girl isn't saying anything, they are not saying anything. It's because they are part they're of it. Exactly. That's one Yes. Do you understand? And then I mean, like I, I support what we are saying because it makes no sense. For jam to just come out and, and, and make a statement, and that's my problem with bodies like this, right? You come out and just make a blanket statement. Oh, um, there were other people that did the same thing. How many people did this? Do you understand? And the fact that there was a boy in Kaduna State who did not Precisely. register for jam, he did not register for jam, and he, he has a result. And he has a result. And then they made him get the highest score. Makes no sense to me. Jam mm. needs to come out and give us, okay, how did you conduct your investigation? What did you find out? What were the reasons? What, what was behind all of this? How Thank were they you. able to get into your system to forge their results? It makes no sense. And enough of these, enough of these vague statements, you just come out and make vague statements so Thank that you, you just kill the matter and then that is, oh. let's all move on. We but cannot again, just move on. You know because there were kids who had to they, suffer, who had to stay up at night to so, read. Mm -hmm. so, so let me, and this is where we need to be clear. 
You right? Mm -hmm. You can't just come out at the, as the head of jam to say, oh, there are so many children that have done it. That it's just that all of those ones are not coming out. The you guy, are like, the, the like, guy. like, it's like, do you hear yourself? Yeah. Because you are actually indicting yourself. Because what you are telling me is that you are not competent and you cannot even give us figures. So if you did a test and 1,000 students took the test, can you boldly say that, okay, out of that 1,000 students, maybe it was only 5 or 10 or 15? Where are the figures? You can't just come out with a blanket statement and say an investigation. Who carried out that investigation? What body? Are they credible? Yeah. Right? Those are the questions we're asking. So it's not enough for you to accuse a girl. Whatever she did, that one no consign me. It's the fact that people can just go and print out results. Come on. Mm -hmm. Let's take a break. When we come back from that break, we'll continue the conversation. Stay with us. All right, thanks for staying with us. Now, if you just tuned in, it's our ladies' night out, and we're discussing this jam versus um, Mesomai GKMS saga, right? Please, let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 8 one 803 You can also tweet at us at Wayshow Africa 1 with the hashtag Wayshow. Now, our phone line is now open, and the number to call is 0702500 That's the number to call. Remember, please turn off the volume of whatever device it is that you're watching us from. So we don't get a feedback. The number again is 0702500749. I really love to hear from the students, right? I mean, let's hear what your thoughts are on this issue. You see, I want to come back to you, right? And I want to address this YX situation. What I see with YX is that sometimes it's not even leaked results. It's the fact that the, there are teachers within the hall. This one, somebody told me firsthand. There were teachers within the hall. And I've said this thing on, on air before. Teachers were dictating answers to the students in the hall. Oh, stand Do you understand? Because guess what? Parents. Let's yes. come back to the parents. Parents, parents all they want to hear is that my child has five A stars, ten A stars. You don't care whether that child actually merited that, those, 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 those results. Yeah. Do you understand? So for YEC, um, EC, they cheat on the exams because they know they cannot compromise the system. So that's why this jam one is scary for me. I don't have to write the exams. All I just need to do is to go into a portal and go and print out the results. Yeah. So if you tell me that the for us to get that result, right, for 2023, I have to go to a center, uh, a CBT center to print out that result. How is she able to print out? And you are now claiming that the result she printed is a, an outdated result that is no longer in use. How was she able to print it? How was, how was that slip? even um, on your portal well, right you can't come see. out you can't come out and make a statement like that and say oh she's using um an outdated form or slip or result form or something like that i don't get it so if she went to the portal and she was able to forge the result how did she get a hold of that slip let me come to you diola because you are sending me uh, um you're sending me how yeah, to print I, go ahead okay so um I just want to read something. The um, something. Um, Take about Benjamin. That's the the the, um, the jam the PR rule. He said that um, that um, they, that they, first of all, there's nothing wrong with their system. We'll come back to that. Um, he said that they had announced the win. Sorry, uh, sorry, Diola. Can you just can you please hold that thought? Let me get a caller, then I'll come back to you. Please don't okay, forget your right. thoughts. Go ahead, all please. Right. You're live. Hello? Hi, good evening. Oh, hi, Loma. Good evening. Yes, see, it is quite unfortunate. I, I see, INET has just become itself. INET has just heard. Uh, Damn. Damn. <laughs> has just become itself. You cannot tell me. Damn. Even the DSS that went after that was supposed to have done it, they started investigating. How many ones have been investigated and come out and do with those things? But look at what Trump has done. Trump has made themselves a public ridicule. But I'm just praying that what they accused this guy will be false so that we will know that the institutions we have in this country, they are, we don't have any strong institutions. Talk what about INEC, please. Look at how they are bubbling in court. Like INEC, 
like jam. So <laughs> what I'm just saying is that and even this little girl who has said, and this girl has come to challenge jam. Eh? So if them take this girl, the bad or she manipulated, let them bring out the skin. Let them bring out her skin and let another person remark, let it be remarked so that we will know who is. Because everything in this country, you will see people manipulating things. Thank you so and much, Loma. After manipulating, they will now accuse Absolutely. people who are that doesn't know what the country is all about. Thank so you so much. Thank you so much, Loma. Thank you. Thank you. Jola, let me come back to you because there was something he mentioned and I wanted to ask Jam that is it possible for us to just call up our scripts? Let us see our, ex our exam sheets, mm -hmm. right? That, mm -hmm. Let's call it up. But Jola, let me come back to you. Okay, so... Um, you said the PRO. The, yeah, so the Mr. Benjamin had said that um, when he got the call from the um, Anambra Commissioner for Education or something, that um, he, he went into action, the Commissioner for Education, yes, and that um, he had asked that the results be sent to him. And um, he said that for every result, you know, that is printed from them, it comes with a QR code. Now, these are his words. The first thing I did was scan the QR code. So when I scanned the QR code on her result, I discovered that the QR code belongs to a candidate who sat for the examination in 2021, and the candidate had scored 138. And then he said with that, he became curious. And then he went into the JAM system with the registration number that she put and, um, and, with the, and the scores that she obtained. I checked the system and discovered that she scored 49. Okay. And not 360. Absolutely. So okay. Diola, hold that thought. Let me take I'm another caller. <laughs> I get okay. you, Diola. But right. that is still not the question me I have for Jam. Mm. You're alive. Go ahead, please. Okay. I mean, we're getting somewhere. Absolutely. You're alive. Hello? I don't know who the caller is. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Go ahead, okay, please. Okay, good evening. Hi, good like evening. Like I said, can you hear me? We good can evening. hear you now. Go ahead, please. Okay. Um, this topic is a very, it is a very, um, I would say it's an unfortunate situation we find ourselves in the country. It is a very, very nasty situation we have found ourselves. And the truth is that it is only God that can bring us out of what we find ourselves. The situation on ground, it is not made possible by only jam. So our anger, our being angry, our not being happy should not be directed only to jam. It is an, a corporate thing committed by everybody. I'm talking about parents, I'm talking about jobs, I'm, I'm talking about the school authority. Thank you. Everybody Thank is you. in this issue. Absolutely. If you really go down, threaten it, everybody is to be blamed. The mess is on everybody. So if we are preaching the right thing to be done, please let's not channel this thing only to jobs. You said that there are parents that support their children. On job day, their parents are go and stand and looking for ways to break. On work day, their parents are go and pay teachers, schools are even supporting my practices Absolutely. because no private school wants their, their school to be recorded as a spending school. Mm -hmm. So they pay, they pay supervisors. In power, they come and dictate answers to children. Thank you. Go and do your investigation mm -hmm. to find out. Yeah. So it is not only jam. Let's not direct this man to only jam. It is everybody. Let's preach this clean up to everybody, especially parents. Mm. Parents are behind this thing. Absolutely. More than jam. Thank Absolutely. you very much. You can, you can feel it because I said it. Parents are the one. Jola, let me come to you to quickly wrap up. <clears throat> Jola, are you there? Or should we come to EC? No, no, no. I'm here. I'm Go here. ahead, quickly. Uh, it went, it, he went on to say that um, they had um, they have a short code, a USSD code that they had given students, which is five five zero one nine, and that that is what they use during registration exam and release of results. Now he said something rather profound. He said immediately after this result was released, she checked her result. Instead of sending results to five five zero one nine, she sent a message post UTME to five five zero one nine. 
But the machine now sent her results because the phone number she's using is a unique identifier and the result she still got was 249. So, okay, so again, like I said, there is a gap. So in, that, um, there is a gap in, in Jam's database. That's what I'm saying to you, to Diola. So I do not, mm -hmm. I'm not fighting Jam to say whether they are right or wrong, whether she did not, mm. um, what's it called, she didn't manipulate a result. Yeah. I'm saying it, how? Do you understand? Mm. How? Mm. That is what we need to ask Jam. Because I know, mm. look at what that woman, uh, the princess caller from Mikorodu said. When you want to cheat in examination, you will cheat in the examination hall. Because you know yeah. that the result that will come out eventually is what, you know, so parents pay. You know, to get people to go and cheat for them, for their children, right? But not that I, after I have written an exam, I am able to change my scores. That is what is scary well, for me. Well, you know, I mean, well, that, me... that can easily be answered by saying that um, it is people that are in the server room. Abs well, and let is, me come to they are Isi. Not aliens. It is let Nigerian. Me come to Isi. Go ahead, Isi. You are in the educational I mean, space. You know what these things are. You know how parents family. come and they are telling you, please, my child exactly. must make A. That, uh -huh. You see, that there is so much information in this that for me to pluck each of them out, I have to take it a step after the other. And that was what I was trying to do, to break it down to you while I was st stating my point. And in the cause of this, I also realized that... Um, when we were talking about um, the education sector and parents' at, um, parents' uh, role in ensuring that the children come out with the right result, I stated something earlier. I said that we have the organization that exam malpractice is like a syndicate. You can have it in one sector. You can have it inside the examination hall. You can now go outside the examination hall and still have it. Mm. And you can, all you just have to do in that one is to pay the right um, amount. Find the right person in the syndicate. Find the right person and pay the right amount. Now, who is that person? It's just like what happened when uh, the person, who was that lady that said that money got missing? I think it was also Jam at the time. That snake that swallowed money. I'm and coming she here. Swallowed snake and a snake swallowed the money. It's, it's the same thing. They come up with all sorts of stories to, you know, concord the thing in such a way that everybody gets confused at the end of the day. The bottom line here is that was there um, some sort of um, 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 misconduct Yes, there was. Was there some sort of misconduct on the part of Jam? Oh, yes, because they did not put us, um, those of us who are not aware of the fact that uh, we have different types of apps out there that you can use to generate all these types of um, results. We weren't aware. If we were aware, we would know what not to look out for. Thank Again, you, Lucy. Again, we also have individuals who, 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 who can actually do this. In the app, we're using app development again to commit some sort of fraud. Nigerians know how to find a way. Anyhow, we'll go must jump. We will know us. We will look for a way to make it work for us. And in the course of us doing that, we will. it doesn't stop us from doing anything different during exam malpractice hmm. to, conduct, to conduct some sort of, um, um, or to make some sort of app that will help us or enable us on that coded level to do it. So it's in racketeering. It's, it's a simple it's, as that. So, Diola, right. the link you sent to me, right? The link yeah. you shared. Yeah. I cannot... I mean, if you even check in the comment section there, people are talking about, you know, people are talking about not able... not being able to access the result, that they have paid, they have gone there, that the results are not going i had and i have paid do you understand what i'm saying it is so diverse. i will i will diverse. double check with that <laughs> <laughs> but so let me let me let me come to what ec touched on so i have been i've been privileged to have a child that have written exams both locally and internationally i have written ielt exams right i have written um what's it called my son has written sats he has written igcses right these are exams that, as you did write them, you know, everything is computerized. You will see your score maybe like in a week or something or two weeks, right? But my point is, you cannot go 
and, and say because uh, uh what's it called um you you see the result is is looking funny you will now go into their database and go and say you want to edit did you see the video that we played when we when we started the show the screen recording yeah. that um, um joy had done in the office where she was able to generate the result she wrote edited the name put all the things and everything and she was able to generate a result so you as a Broad. body this it's the problem it. jam is refusing Broad. the problem jam is refusing to admit is that they do not have an airtight system right system, don't come yeah. to me with stories that people are all over there parading like the more you say that the more you are indicting yourself so you cannot tell me people are parading results, fake results everywhere. What you should be telling me is that we have been compromised and we're trying to find a way to get the system fixed. Not to be pushing blame and be saying, uh, what's it called? So, uh, somebody, uh, this one in Kaduna did not sit for exam. He got a 380. So I can wake up tomorrow and, and score 400, 400 over 400 in jam. In fact, Jennifer, let me go and generate my results. <laughs> because I, I, I want to go back to school. But let's take comments because we are running out of time. So I have a comment here. But then before my comments, I have a question for jam. Is this the first time they are noticing this error? I don't think it's the first time. No. Right? So I think because this one actually went viral. And, Thank you. I mean, because of social media, she had to broadcast it and a lot of people had to hear about it and that's why we're actually even talking about this so let's talk about what happened last year what happened two years ago or three years ago so that four means, years ago four years ten ago. years ago so they can't tell me that they don't know that there has been a loophole in their system thank you anyway Please, so let's, before let's, we let's, even read that on. this thing has been ongoing for years i mean i can talk as far back as my secondary school I had results for papers I didn't even sit for. Okay. So, 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 so Diola, you see, you see, if you were here now, I would have, I would have given you Koboko because so you know the truth. <laughs> and you're trying to tell me that uh, the, the sports person, what concern me concern? See, I don't care what the girl did. What I'm trying to say to Jam is fix your system. Fix it. Yeah. Let's take yeah. comments quickly. Hi, Ways Ladies. A lot is rotten and broken in Nigeria and education is one of the most affected sectors in Nigeria. This may somehow matter. It reminds me of when I wrote JAM in 1955 and um, When I went to check my result at JAM Ikoyi, I was told my entire center was cancelled, only for me to see results months later after admissions were closed. Nothing surprises <laughs> me in Nigeria. Thank the you. JAM system is not secure, simple. The person uploading or the software used for collecting is suspect. Also, over the years, the reputation of JAM buses have declined over the years. This is from Ufoma. Uh -huh. Thank you, Ufoma. Mm. Because we, mm. we, 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 yeah, we stylishly forgot to mention that the jam boss was indicted. Yeah. I think it was five billion. Him and his yeah. family. Him and his family. Remember? We, we, yeah. we took that story. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Let's go ahead. <laughs> okay, so um, this is my point on the fact that jam is compromised. Go ahead, mm. um yeah. Diola. Do you have a comment? Oh, okay. Oh, yes, I do. Okay, um, my, my, my is, um, good evening, my dear beautiful sisters of what are you saying, hashtag ways. Jam, this is Miss Summer Ejikeme. God bless you, my dear beautiful sister Uwa, always on point. It is not just about Miss Summer forging her results. It's about Jam being reliable and competent, mm, in quote. In this, uh, in this case, Jam is causing confusion, and by this, they cannot deliver Mesoma really. Um, they, sorry, they cannot deliver and handle examinations well. If Mesoma rarely scored 249 and she's claiming uh, 362, then she is a fraud and scam. Your caller said the system is, um, is everywhere and not only jam, and I agree. My dear beautiful sister, Jennifer, Welcome back and congratulations for reaching the third floor. Many more years in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. My name Thank you, Daniel. Daniel. One day we'll meet you. <laughs> we hope to meet you one okay. day. Go ahead, Diola. Okay, so um, I have this one. It says, um, it is not impossible that JAM failed to decommission its former result generating software or platform, which is being used by unscrupulous individuals to continue to exploit unsuspecting students. It is also possible that pirated jam customized software are ubiquitous um, online, are available online for illegal registration purposes. 
collecting monies from unsuspecting students and generating fake results. This is from Funsha. Okay, so Funsha again comes. He says it will be... Okay, is that the same story you took? It says it will yes. be interesting yes. to know that JAM guidelines or procedure for checking results of duly registered students and on which specific portal um, was that was that was that communicated and followed by the students? If no, jam should not be blamed. Okay, so like mm. communicating the specific portal and the specific um, uh, places to mm -hmm. go register and all of that. That was it properly communicated? If that, if so, okay. So I get you, Funcho, and that is why I'm saying to you that. So why don't we have all these issues, you know, around other examinations? It's simple. Your system is compromised. Your system is a, is, is, a, is, is, is a failure. So what you need to do is admit. Nigerians, we don't know how to admit. Yeah. Admit that come. It's like we have not gotten this thing well. But we want to try to fix it. This one is proof that we need to tighten our seatbelts and now, um, what's it called, um, block all those loopholes. The jam Sayonara, was accused. It's not about getting it right. They know exactly. what to do. They don't want they to don't get it right. It's as simple as that. Because they, they weren't doing it. They, they won't do it. Like they do it right. They will not be making money now. Okay, on that note, they, they <laughs> helped me to talk. I was going to... You I was catch, trying to... You, if, if they do it right, you can't catch the buses for fraud, for, for fraud like they've been doing. This way. So, <laughs> on that note, we might bring the matter all back. We might not bring it back. But please, we need to speak to these issues around examination fraud in Nigeria. We will continue that conversation. Thank you so much, ladies. Thank you, EC. Thank you, Diola. And thank you, Jennifer. Now, before we go, ensure you follow us across all social media handles at Waysho Africa. You can interact with us further. You can drop your comment, follow, engage with our um, post, like, share, invite your families and friends to watch the show and follow the conversations as well. Now, if you missed our quote for today, here it is again. The board is constrained to set the record straight and wishes to state unequivocally that many of the results which many of these candidates are parading are fake. Imagine, with your mouth, you they indict yourself. In many instances, some of these candidates had actually obtained far lower scores than they are claiming and had used some funny software packages to manipulate their results to deceive unsuspecting members of the public. If you are saying this as a spokesperson of JAM, you have just told us that your system is a flop. So you have to fix that system. We'll see you guys tomorrow at 8 p.m. as we bring another great conversation to your screen. Enjoy.